Pete, it went tight in the end. Your thoughts on the match? Uh, it's just it's just a bit frustrating um, with the with the ebbs and flows in the game. Um, you know, we obviously didn't start that well with a bat, but to to fight back and get ourselves ahead of DLS and then at the crucial moment lose two wickets that puts us behind. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's just it just sucks that couldn't quite get over the line um, in this game. But you know, there's there's some good stuff that happened. Um, there was some bad stuff that we're, we're going to talk about and, and improve on for Friday and we move forward. I can't quite think of a match actually that has swung both ways quite dramatically as well at times. Um, what was the bad stuff really for you? Because the, the good stuff was clear. Yeah, I think uh, for me what stood out was the difference probably in the fielding between the two teams. Um, we let probably a few too many to go through on the boundary, go for four where, we, where they were able to knock it back for, for one or two. Um, and in a game where two runs decide it, uh, that they're, they're big moments. So, um, yeah, that's, that doesn't help. No one means to misfield anything. Uh, but, you know, maybe we, we didn't quite do the work before this game to uh, make sure that we're ready to go. It was a tough start with the bass again, but yourself and Robbie settled things down. And as it was, it looked as though it was going pretty well. But then the two wickets fell close together and just before the heavens opened. Yeah, that was obviously... I mean, it's never a good time to go out. No one ever wants to go out, but that was uh, that was frustrating to to be 50 runs behind Duckworth Lewis after the 10 over mark, and and to to call that back to a point where we were 10 runs in front, um, and then to go and lose two wickets and two overs to put us behind again just before the rain was was yeah frustrating. Um, but you know, there's there's some good signs there. Robbie doing the doing the middle overs. Um, you know, some really, really good work there now for two games. Um, you know, the challenge for him now is being the bloke there that's that's there at the 40th, at the 45th, and really seeing us home. And Hampshire on Friday, it's a very big game for this competition now for Middlesex to get that win under the belt. Yeah, it'd be nice to get a win. Um, Hampshire, obviously, a good side, uh, but we'll uh, you know we'll do every everything we can on Thursday to to prep for that game, um, so that we've got no no excuses come Friday. It's too early in the competition at this stage to think about the bigger picture of everything, but with the run of defeats across the season, how much pressure does that put on Friday in this competition at the moment? Uh, we're trying to look at this competition as, as completely separate from the others. Um, I think if you start taking in what's happened throughout the season into this competition, well then you, you start getting yourself down in the dumps pretty quickly. So we're, we're looking at is we've lost two games at the start, but we've got six to go and um, you know to, to get a win on the board and, and hopefully get a bit of momentum. Uh, and you know, we can hopefully get uh, finals. Appreciate your time. Thanks. Thank you.